Hi guys, Marissa Schultz here, author of The Rise High Investor. Thanks for tuning in. Every week I bring you short videos to help you with your property investment journey. And today I'm gonna to be talking about pre-approvals. So the big question is, is it a good idea to get a pre-approval? Well, my opinion is that sometimes yes, sometimes no. So let's talk about it in detail. I think a pre-approval is a really good idea if you are going to auction. Obviously, you can't go to auction without having a pre-approval for your finance because that's a very risky proposition. Um, I think it's also a good idea if you really want that extra negotiating power and bargaining power with the agent, the real estate agent, when you're negotiating with them. Sometimes having the pre-approval can be the difference between you getting the property and missing out on the property. It also enables you to um, negotiate shorter settlement timeframes because when you have a pre-approval in place, it means that half of the finance application process is already done, which means that the banks can achieve as fast a settlement turnaround time. So there are definitely positives of having a pre-approval in place. Um, saying that, let's talk about some of the downsides. So pre-approvals, basically they generally only last about three months depending on the lender. So basically what that means is that if you go to the lender, for a pre-approval, you might get it approved. You've got three months to find a property and sign a purchase contract. If you can do it in that amount of time, then that's fantastic. If you don't do it in that amount of time, then if you wanna refresh your pre-approval, you need to provide updated information to the bank and it will cause another credit inquiry on your credit report. Now, what we've learnt recently is that credit reporting and credit history and your credit score is really quite important in determining your future borrowing capacity. So too many inquiries on your credit report within a short period of time can actually work against you long term in terms of ensuring that you have the capacity to borrow money in the future. So it's not a great idea to get a pre-approval and constantly renew it every three months. So just watch out for that. So I guess what I'm saying there is that you should only really get a pre-approval if you know that you're going to be serious about buying a property within the three month period and you can actually action that pre-approval before it expires. I also wanted to point out that a pre-approval is not a guaranteed finance approval. The lender can still turn around and decline the application even though you have a pre-approval. This can be based on the valuation report that comes back once the property is valued. It can be based on a change in your circumstances. It could even potentially be based on a change in the bank's lending policy since they issued the pre-approval. So you need to understand that it's not a guaranteed approval. So you have to take it for what it is. So in summary, is a pre-approval a good idea? Yes, in certain cases, but definitely don't go pre-approval happy and get too many of them. And definitely do not go and shop around and get pre-approvals with multiple banks. It really destroys your credit score and your credit report. So definitely don't recommend that. Um, but overall, speak to your mortgage broker. They will know your circumstances best and will be able to guide you as to whether a pre-approval is a good idea for you or not. That's all I have time for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to go on my website, risehighinvestor.com.au, you can purchase a copy of my book for half price if you enter in the code VIDEO2018. I'd love to hear your thoughts or comments. You can email me at propertyinvestor at risehigh.com.au. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye.